Hi guys, welcome back to another video here on Chasing Spirits UK and this video you're about to watch I have finally got permission um, to explore Canuck, the Canuck Chase Museum guys it is an amazing place and I can't wait for you to watch the video so guys make sure that you subscribe to the channel and notifications are on guys don't forget to give it a like and also guys leave a comment and let me know what you think so uh, yeah let's get in to the video <laughs> Now there are people about guys, so I have to show respect to people. Got some toys here. Guess who? <gasps> I used to love them. What's that called? Please leave me in the comments what that is called. Is it um I know I wanna know it's like brick or something? Or brack or something? I'm not sure. There's a grommet there. From Morris and Grammy. Some of these old toys here. Some old cards, Rice crispy cards. I don't remember them. Some Pokemon cards. Oh, those pencil toppers. Does anyone remember them, guys? If you're from the UK, drop me a comment if you remember them. Because there's some more toys in here that I'm going to show you before we head to where all the mining stuff is. There's the Queen Mary there. That's another place I'd love to go, guys. As I said, guys, I do have permission to be here. Um, as I mentioned, there's one area that I can't go where there's there's actually some art, which is you have to respect the decision. You have to respect other people's wishes. Um, shout out to Luke from Luke to Explore because he's been here as well. Mr. Potato Head. Guys, if you remember, if you remember any of these. From back in the day, let me know. What have we got here? Draw with Spirograph. I remember them as a kid. Spirograph. I'm all typewriter. Petit Excel. Some of the old toys and some of the old jigsaws back in the day. Oh my gosh, is that an old video computer system? Ah. Guys, if you know what this is, please tell me what which one it is. Because that is looks like it's from the 80s. Game program, missile command, uh, missile command breakout. Oh, it's the Atari. I think it's the Atari, guys, but please confirm that for me in the comments. It could be the Atari. Oh, wow. Guys, Millennium Falcon. I had one of them when I was a kid. Part of one, anyway. <laughs> let me know, guys. Do you, do you, anyone else have the, any Star Wars toys growing up? Any toys you see here, let me know, guys. We got a little Buzz Lightyear, Zerg, Thunderbird 1, I remember. When I was a kid, I used to have Tracy Island and trains. I'm obsessed with trains, guys. Um, to this day, you'll still, I will, you'll probably, if you ever saw me uh, on YouTube, I'll be watching the original Thomas the Tank with Ringo Starr because I was obsessed with Thomas the Tank as a kid. <laughs> God, where's all gummage? So if you don't know who was or Gummidge, it was a it was a program on in the in the UK, I think back in the 70s, I think. A Womble. Panda. There's Rupert the Bear. That's Wurz or Gummidge. That's Bad Puss. We need the poo. I'm not sure what that is, it's an old bear. Mm. Wow. 
And as you can see at the back, we have a Thomas, a Percy and a Toby. And then we have Bob the Builder, some of these little things at the front. Obviously Teletubbies. Uh, uh, Minnie Mouse and that guy from Noddy, uh, whose name I cannot remember right now. These are, I think these might be old Cindy dolls, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it is. They're old Cindy dolls, wow. But didn't they change it to a C eventually? Let me know, guys. 1984. That's two years before I was born, guys. Oh, gosh. Now, this is, some people find dolls a little bit creepy. And I have to admit, there are a couple of creepy ones in here. Um, just to let you know, there is nothing spiritually active in here. There's nothing in here. But I wanted to show you around, and I want to show you all the pit stuff, because you've probably seen that video where I made communication with spirits. Here we, then, here we go then guys, this is the Coal Mining Gallery, okay? There were a lot of pits around the Staffordshire area, like here, Rugeley, um, the Mines Rescue Station. If you want, you can pause. Victoria Street, Hensford. It's right by here. Some of the old equipment. Where is that? National Commission. Oh, it's breathing apparatus. Aerolux breathing apparatus. That's all the mining rescue stuff for the mining. Some of the old lanterns they used to use. Ah, so this was the locomotive that actually transported the men to from Cannonquad to Hensford. Guys, this place is incredible. So it's steeped with history. So this is just a wooden model of what the pit used to be like. I don't know if it's this one or it's one of them. So we've got the other lamp room and then got a boiler house over here. Ah, it's a represent, representation of how the Valley Colliery looked in 1958 and it's not to scale. Yes, <laughs> of course it's not to scale. So this is the Valley um, Colliery. So that's what it used to look like. This is where I am now. This is before they built the museum and everything. It was a training centre. And obviously opened in the 1940s. I 
and that's just obviously a model represents a type of winding gear that was used to hoist um, the you know like the pit cages carrying coal and men and stuff up and down the shafts Tell me about explosives there. Um, they have a cafe as well, guys, here. So you can come, have a look around, and have a drink of coffee. They do sell snacks as well. Extracting the coal. Once again, guys, you, you can pause it so you can read. And I have to be careful because there are people here as well. So you have to respect other people's privacy. And when you come to places like this, always ask for permission. Please do, always ask for permission. So I'm gonna go in here. So basically what this is, is just a replica of um, what, it, what it was like, sort of like inside the mine. So I'm probably gonna need my light for this. So I'll see you in a sec. You probably wonder what that accent is guys, that is a proper black country kind of accent. But a lot of people get those accents mixed up. Obviously I'm using my light but I've dipped it a bit. So you can see it a bit clearer. That rumbling is just a recreation, so there's nothing going on. Just well, I think it is. Okay, then, guys, stairs. Just showing you a bit of kind of course training again you can pause it if you wish wow some of the old football programs soccer if you're from the UK wow look at the price price values oh dear now it's all about money and that's why I don't watch football anymore if you wish to so these are some of the the collieries like you got all these collieries right here these are all them that's how many there were <clears throat> that's where I am now that's where I was yesterday the other day Obviously, this was a training centre as well. Mm. 
Look at all the Kanak Industries. Development of towns and villages. There's too much here, guys, to, to film. <laughs> but, um, Hitais, that's like near where I am. And that was in the 1900s. That is still there. But he obviously it's probably been remodeled, I think it has. But yeah, that's still there, and then there's a roundabout there now. <laughs> and finally, we have this. Don't forget to pause if you want to read. There are people behind me, so I've got to be careful. Some more of lamps there. And obviously we've got a gift shop. Uh, you can actually get books on the uh, on the different mines as well. So any history of like Cabot Chase. This is the best place to go because they've got all books like more murder and mayhem. So if you're into history, you know, come here. This is um, in Hensford on Valley Road. I think they open at 11 o'clock, I think. 11 till 4, I think, I believe. But yeah, guys, this is, this was, is, I should say, Cannock Chase Museum. So guys, thank you for watching this video, and yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Hi guys, uh, thank you for watching this video, and thank you to the staff at the Canet Chase Museum for giving me permission and allowing me to explore that, the ama that amazing museum. Um, I just wanted to show you guys some of the history of my area with the mines and stuff. So as you guys know, I did investigate um, some of the, build the old former buildings, um, next to it well near to it as you probably see and got some responses um but yeah guys i really hope you enjoyed it make sure that you subscribe and the notification bell is on and thank you for watching guys stay safe and most of all be kind